Hey, what's up everybody? Swish here. Uh, what I have for you today is a great budget-friendly camp slash survival knife. So if you want to know what it is, do me a favor and stick around. All right, hey, welcome back to Swish Outdoors. Swish here. Um, what I have for you today is a great <clears throat> budget-friendly camp slash survival knife. Um, if you're like me and, uh, you know, you want a good knife but you're on a budget, um, I'm going to revisit an old classic. This knife was made, first uh, came out, I think, in around 2014. And... Um, the company kind of gets a bad rap, but I think it's a great knife, and that is the Charade SCHF36. And as you can see, I got this yesterday. I've already stripped the coating off of it. The spine was already pretty sharp, and I put a patina on it. You can see that patina there pretty well. So if you guys want to know how I did it, I did a time-lapse kind of uh, video real quick, and I'm going to roll that real quick for you uh, while I make my way back to camp. Uh, when I say camp, I mean my backyard and uh, show you the kind of camp tools that it can do. So watch the uh, video, and I'll meet you guys back in my backyard. See ya.
back to my backyard everybody and um, what I have for you guys today <clears throat> again I've already showed is the Schrade SCHF 36 knife a um, couple little bit of specs on this knife it's 1095 high carbon steel and um, it's made in China so it's not made in America but um, it's got these rubber rubberized kind of grips on it that you can see and uh, not terrible you know um, right now it's running on blade HQ for about $29 Amazon about 35 um, so it's a great budget knife you know if you're just starting out and you don't know if it's something that you know you want to do and you think well I don't want to spend you know 200 bucks on it on an expensive knife and everything um, this is a great knife um, to start on as you can see it had the black coating on it from the previous video where you saw me stripping the the coating off of it so but uh, anyway this is the knife the sheath is just a regular basic nylon sheath it did come with a, a, a this cheap string right here to tie around your leg if you want to and it does come with a little mini fire steel so we're going to use that and see how good that is and a diamond sharpening little diamond sharpening stone if you will if you want to call it a stone um, so it comes with that so basically has you know firestone and everything in a good package for 29 29 dollars on blade hq or about 35 on amazon roughly about that so um one thing i do want to point out guys i'm not going to make this like a sole knife channel um, i'm going to do other things uh, but right now um i just kind of felt like you know you know like me i'm on a budget and um i just i saw this at a knife show gun and knife show here in my hometown and uh, picked it up and I thought oh, that's pretty cool and then I passed on it and then I thought man why did I pass on that knife so I wanted to check it out so we're gonna do a couple tasks here just to kind of show you uh, what it what it does what it can do and if it's something that you guys would like nobody's paying me to do this guys I just felt like doing this so stick with me and uh, we'll do some do some basic tasks with it <sighs> All right, guys, first task will be uh, splitting wood. So uh, we'll see how good it splits wood. Um, this is a hollow grind on here, so we'll see how good a hollow grind splits wood. And it is a five inch blade. I forgot to mention that, so I wanted to mention that to you guys now. So don't go too crazy when it comes to, when it comes to uh, splitting wood. So that should be about it. This is birch, so we'll see uh, see how good it splits. So here we go. Stand up here. Chair out of the way. Let's see what she does. Okay, so splitting right, right along. Not bad. Let's keep going. Not bad. Not bad at all. This one's a little naughty. <laughs> Come on, baby. Alright, so split's pretty good. A little bit of a struggle, but uh, yeah, not terrible. So, uh, yeah, I'll get you guys in closer and uh, we'll do, uh, do some carving, maybe some feather sticking or something like that. Alright, uh, 
So it's got this nice choil, finger choil here to kind of choke up on the knife here. Let's see how well it does with uh, carving. So much. Let's try a different end here. I'm not very good at carving feather sticks, just so you know. I don't have a whole lot of experience. My experience is just gather tinder, but. Feather sticks is kind of a like a last resort for me. That's why I don't practice it a lot. I probably should practice it more, but uh, I'm not going to pretend like I'm a great carver, guys. I'm not going to fake the funk just for the sake of the video. And this isn't really not really good for feather sticking. You want something more um, smooth And that. In fact, let's try something here. Let's, uh, let me try something here just to, uh, this is kind of a smoother stick. Let me baton it here. Much luck here. Try it again. <laughs> it's a little bit more fresh. Let's get a knot in there. But it does carve pretty well. Like I said, I'm not the best feather stick guy, so for carving feather sticks, I just get some tinder instead. But I really need to practice this skill. <laughs> but just to show you guys that it can do it, you know, so I can do it for the most part. Ter ter I'm terrible at feather sticking, as I as I keep reiterating. So uh, anyway. So, uh, <laughs> this so far is probably my best job, feather sticking on that. Man, this birch is hard. It's also, guys, the wood's also frozen. It's, it was nine degrees, so it's, it's pretty frozen. So, maybe if it was a little warmer, it'd be easier to do. That's why I always recommend going and getting tinder, but... As you can see, she can do it. Alright. So, let me get in closer here. We're going to see if we can try to uh, get a fire going. Uh, with these feather sticks i don't know like i said it's pretty cold out here and it's very windy so i apologize if you hear wind in the microphone um but it's very windy out here so let's see all right so uh next step is uh seeing if it can uh, get a fire going i'm not going to build a big fire guys i'm going to see if maybe these will spark but it's very cold out but it's got a pretty good sharp spine especially when you take the coating off so 
and it does come with a fire steel. It does come with a striker, but I don't use that. Um, I just like to use the spine of the knife, so let's see how it strikes here. I don't know if you can see it in the sun either. So not too bad. Let's put it up against here and see what happens. Does not throw a whole lot of sparks. Um, let's get out the big one here. See, see if it does any better on the big one. Oh yeah. So I'm probably gonna have to sharpen the spine just a bit more. It's not super sharp. You know, it does do the trick. So, it's probably too cold to get these started. But, when in doubt, always carry some tinder with you. I also have uh, cotton balls of Vaseline. But, uh, I love these uh, Pathfinder Mini Infernos. They, they have never, ever failed me. So... Gotta be careful though, because these do burn for a bit. And uh, let's actually use let's use the fire steel it came with. See what happens. Try the big one. So maybe get yourself a better fire steel. See how the big one handles. Wow, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, oh. Man, it, it must be super cold, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. You gotta be kidding me. Let's get this. I spoke too soon. I said these have never failed me, but could be it was in my garage and it's real cold in the garage. Come on, baby. Oh, there we go. All right, she's lit. Not sure if you guys can see that, but we finally got it. A little patience paid off. Let's see if I can get this to light too. It is very windy out here, guys, but it does light. that in my fire pit there. So yeah, not, not so great with this little fire steel. Maybe sharpen the spine a little bit more, but it does work. A little patience and uh, you get your fire going. So uh, yeah. All right guys, just want to also just kind of do a side note on these little Pathfinder Mini Infernos. It is still going. I brought it over here in my fire pit. So this is a, look right there by the snow too. So it is a very good, very good thing. Uh, go to Self-Reliance Outfitters for these little these little guys on their website. A lot of times if you buy a uh, the cook set, uh, I think they throw one of these in. Not all the time, but at least they did with mine. 
So you guys can see it's still burning, going on 30 seconds now. Still going, even in the wet snow. So very, very, very good uh, fire tender to have. So turn it around, guys. Like I said, feather sticks to me are a last resort, very last resort. Um, I always take a source of tinder with me or having that possum mentality looking for tinder off tinder, not tender, tinder off the uh, landscape uh, when you're going somewhere. So that way you don't have to carve feather sticks. But in a pinch, the knife does carve feather sticks. So just wanted to show you guys that. All right, guys. Well, uh, thanks for uh, joining me uh, on this one. and. Um, just wanted to show you a few basic things this knife can do on the Charade SCH F36. Sometimes they call it the Frontier. Um, this is a great knife to mod to, as you saw. You can even get aftermarket scales if you'd like. Take these rubberized ones off. Um, you can even make your own scales. So, just wanted to show you a couple things this knife can do. Man, it's windy out here. Sorry guys. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of trees to block the wind. But um, anyway, um, if you're on a budget, this is a great knife to have for the price. And uh, I actually, I really like this knife. I really do. So, you know, it's just something to think about. And if you're thinking about getting into this, uh, to bushcraft, survival, whatever, camping, whatever you want to call it, and uh, you think you don't know if it's something that you're going to stick with, and so you don't want to spend a whole lot of money, this is a great starter. So even if you decide, that's eh, it's just not for me, I tried it, like, you know, it was okay, then you know, you're only out like 30 bucks, at least with the knife, because that's the first priority, is having some kind of cutting tool, at least in my opinion, the first priority is having a cutting tool. So thanks again, and uh, uh, just a quick update. Um, I'm, I'm not going to be doing just all this kind of knife thing. I hope to get out and do some overnighters soon and uh, maybe do some other kind of kits and just show you guys some different things just to put some good content in. I'm going to drop a video probably on Friday, not every week, as soon as I can, as soon as I can, uh, just because, you know, I have a life outside of doing this. This is more of a hobby for me. And I just want to say thanks to, I'm up to 100 subscribers now, so thanks to everyone who has subscribed. Uh, to my channel. Uh, hope to get many, many more and continue to build the channel up. So uh, as I've said before, please uh, hit the thumbs up button, share, and subscribe. Yes, that's right. Subscribe, subscribe. And um, uh, anyway, thank you guys for all that uh, you do for me. Thank you for your comments. Leave a comment below if there's anything that you didn't see me do with this that you'd like to see me do or uh, something that I should have done. I always appreciate good feedback uh, on here. So until then, guys, get outside and have a great time.